Hey folks, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and today we're putting our first space station in orbit. It is not a huge station, but it is a, it's a nice one. See, little space station. We're putting this thing up and we will be deploying it aboard uh, one of our stable launch vehicles we've developed. Now, the trick here is to put it up as perfectly as possible. So for this, I'm using the assistance of one of the mods for Kerbal Space Program, MechJeb. MechJeb allows me to do certain things I struggle with right now including perfect orbits and also to be able to dock and rendezvous, which is something I'm learning. It is very hard, so MechJeb is teaching me whilst helping automate things. So, without further ado, we're going to launch the Space Caravan 1 into a 90 degree inclination orbit around Kerbin at 100 kilometers. So, to the launch pad. Okay, I'm back. Now, I'd forgotten to put an extra battery bank on because I figured the dark side of Kerbin may not have sunlight all the time, so we need battery power. So, we're going for a 100, where is it? 100 kilometer orbit, and our current inclination is basically 90 degrees, and we are going to allow MechJeb to launch this vehicle for us. This will be auto-staging, it will do some auto-warping, and it will deploy our antennas and panels. So, this is what we'd basically be using for an automated launch of a space station that's unmanned anyway, before our first trip to it. So, um, We'll turn on our guidance display and we will engage autopilot and we'll let her rip. At this point the computer has control over the flight so we'll get to about 100 meters per second ascent and then we'll start to bank over on our insertion course as it's doing automatically. Our boosters will disengage when they're empty the entire vehicle will put itself into a 100 kilometer orbit. We've got electric propulsion on the craft, so we should be good for station holding. This will be unmanned until our first manned trip, so this for me is a first, our first space station. Kind of excited. Let's move this over here so we've got more of you. So boosters are about to separate in a few seconds time. We're on a good pathway. Everything's looking good so far. Booster separation. Now, good separation. We are repeating in a bit that wasn't planned, but we'll see how this fares. It might still work. It might not. We might have actually have to fix something here. But as we're heading up, the throttle should come down as it lets itself cruise before centering its orbit. We don't need a lot of fuel, we're just going for orbit, so it's throttling down now. So our accident was just well-timed. Not greatly timed, but well-timed. We'll call it a happy accident. We'll go Bob Ross on the space program. Just a happy little accident. Either way, we're heading up now and we should be cruising up towards our positioning. There's plenty of fuel now to actually set ourselves into a synchronous orbit. Our panels have deployed and we are wiggling around. Oh my god, this is what happens when you use a truss to hold the whole system to peace. Um, yeah, not ideal. Right now we are, this is our planned orbit. This is our positioning here. So once we get a bit closer, it'll begin its burn to centralize the orbit and we should be good to go. Little wiggly right now. <laughs> Structural integrity, yeah! It's an amazing thing. No, MechJeb's advanced control functionalities allow us to plan all sorts of things. We've got docking abilities, flight recorders, landing guidance, uh, RCS balancing, maneuver planning, maneuver node editing, smart assistance, smart RCS, rover autopilots, aircraft autopilots. A fantastic mod that I've been told to use and do things for me while I'm too stupid to manage. Our burn is in 40 seconds. And I believe we're still in 
No, we're not time accelerating, but we're wiggling like a madman whilst this engine's just twerking around. Let's hope this doesn't snap off whilst we're waiting. But our panels are up, and they are in direct sunlight, so... We are currently picking up electric energy. Our rechargeable battery is looking good. Our little electric engines that are there just for station keeping as we get our first throw at the orbital burn. This is us now bringing the orbit out. It's funny how little fuel this uses compared to how much I use. So it's waiting until it's almost exactly at the apogee to use the least fuel possible to burn. And look at this orbit, it's gone perfectly up. Boom. A perfect orbit within basically meters. It'll burn till about halfway through, and I will take that. That is our flight completed there. So we will separate off that stage, or jettison that nodule, and we have our unmanned space station in orbit around Kerbin. So we'll engage stability assist, and we will plan for a prograde actually no we'll go normal anti-normal sorry so pointing inwards nope that's what i was looking for radial in that's what we wanted so our antenna is towards kerbin which is exactly the position we want to be holding now we have a docking port here so we can actually bring up a manned module and approach so this should be relatively simple we'll flip it around so we've got light side facing towards us and yeah we can't actually view the crew because there isn't anybody. This is completely automated. And now we are in a synchronous orbit around Kerbin with our probe and debris from the engines because we just left it here. Why not? Yeah. Uh, small mercies. So we are on the pad here and we've got a smaller vehicle so we're limiting our throttle to 80% just for safety's sake. Um, we are going to be spinning ourselves into orbit now in a similar orbit but we want to go to about 90 miles so where is that setting yeah target of 90 kilometers so we'll set this all correctly and SAS is enabled it will turn itself off in a second we will begin our insertion with engaging autopilot <laughs> Lift off, clear the tower, and pulling away. We'll get ourselves into a stable orbit, then we'll look at our rendezvous systems. Smaller rocket, we've taken a couple of stages out because we just don't need the, the horsepower essentially to lift the weight of the vehicle. This will be our final rendezvous segment, which will allow us to get to the space caravan. Boost is at 50% burn. Speed is good, performance nominal. We're on track. Should be on the same plane as our station also. Boosters at one quarter. Speed's looking great. Booster separation in five, four, three, two, one. Good separation. Upward climb. Still great thrust, just not worrying too much about this uh, ridiculously oversized SLS first stage, which is honestly something that NASA would put on their Artemis launch vehicle. We don't need that. But it looked cool, and I wanted four liquid engines. Because having solid rocket boosters plus a liquid engine allows you to turn much easier for your new gravity assist. So we're heading up now. An autopilot's throttled us down. And it's positioning us right now as we climb. Everything should be working as scheduled here. It's time warping us. 
once we get to about here. 90, we shall begin circularization. We have our target set already, so this is where we're going to be heading to. So once we get towards the node, we'll begin our maneuver English maneuver burn. And I still have too much fuel in this first stage. Way too much fuel. I, I don't know how I've done it, but we have too much gas. <laughs> so yeah, one minute, and we will be setting our burn to circularize the orbit. Now, I could have scheduled our departure to meet the Holman transfer window, where this would basically be passing here, right as we reached our apoapsis. And we could have actually launched straight to rendezvous, but that's a bit advanced for me right now. I am just going to be happy if it works, full stop. So, panels are deployed. We are receiving electricity from our solar panels. They'll automatically direct themselves. I've just included solar panels because I think it's useful to have extra power. That way we'll always have our stability assist system. So once we hit, we have 20 seconds now, we'll be ready to do our burn. We should be positioning to circularize this orbit. Once we're at a stable orbit at 90 kilometers, that's about 10 kilometers orbit shallow of our rendezvous location. That's fine. We'll let the rendezvous autopilot take care of that. We don't want to be exactly the same plane. Just close. So we're at apoapsis now. And the burn has not begun. I'm not sure why the burn has not begun. Uh, target, please. Yes, that's it. Have I just separated again by accident? I have just separated again by accident. This is unfortunate. I'm an idiot. Watch our module fall off. Yep, yeah, we accidentally separated from the second stage, so we're just spinning in space. Because YOLO. Fortunate. There goes that. So we'll try and stabilize ourselves on target and we'll try and at least rescue this mission. After extreme fire kit and derp happened. So we want to go prograde. And we'll burn. This is a fairly efficient engine, so we should be able to get a static orbit out of this. It's not what we wanted, but I'll take it. Beginning our circularization. We're on the exact same plane, so this should be absolutely fine. This is a, such a hack job of a flight, I'm not sure why the autopilot wasn't actually doing the burn. So it's quite strange. I may have to do this auto um, manual in future. So our apparatus should pop out now once we get it out to a rough equal position, or at least outside the atmosphere, we'll call it good. Yeah, okay, we're good. So we can ignore our ascent guidance now. And our vessel is in orbit. So now we need to select a target to rendezvous with. That will be Space Caravan. Set as target. Okay, so engage autopilot. Let's go. Let's get ourselves into a uh, into an orbit. Or a rendezvous position with Space Caravan. Why no Bernarino? Oh, it's in 20 minutes, so we'll just warp it around till it decides where it wants to be. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, okay, we'll just let it run the clock down a little bit here. So 30 seconds, and we're on. It's managing itself, so minus 5, 4, 3, 2, one and it should burn it's burning okay so we're setting ourselves to a home and transfer orbit now 
this is us over here so we will match up over there so our next burn is in 11 minutes we'll let time pass us by because no one wants to sit here watching 11 minutes of me orbiting Kerbin let the time just run down here as it circles us around it's speeding itself up and it's slowing itself down nicely done so nine seconds till our next burn and this is a retrograde burn which will be bringing our orbit apoapsis down Boop. and it's matched us so we're on a slightly lower one here okay awesome so we have positioning set there we have another burn in 10 seconds and it's starting to do all our positioning the fuel's looking great here so our final distance should be 100 meters burn is completing at least this is functioning properly this might allow me to do a two-stage moon lander by the way so we'll have a vehicle that goes to the moon and orbits and we have a lander that actually goes down because the rendezvous autopilot should allow me to actually bring a lander back and meet up with the craft which is honestly the hardest thing in kerbal space program is this sort of maneuvering it takes so many calculations and mathematical inputs to actually achieve Yep, we're good. So it is speeding us through here. Next instant window is 9.2 orbits away. So we can ignore that one. We'll let it is burn and we'll find ourselves in position. So current orbit is the blue line. way further out than I thought we were. It's positioning us to do all these burns. So next one is an hour. Uh, planning home and transfer for intercept after 2.1 phasing orbits. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to want to go a little bit faster than this because an hour to the next Holman window is a bit too long for us to handle. We'll run that time down. Don't want to go too fast that we go screaming past. We're 20 minutes now. And the window should start to open for us to intercept. This is one of those things of space flight. Sometimes you may have to wait an hour before you can burn so an orbit is in the right position. It's what happens. It's slowing us down now. We're going to begin our new burn here. And we're burning. Excellent. So we have an intercept. Perfect. 100 meter orbit. So we're looking good. We're looking good here. We're about to make our positioning. So it's another 17 minutes. We will assist this along with a little bit of time acceleration. Turns out computers can do all the work for you and make your life a lot easier. Still, turns out you have to build a functioning ship as here we are, four kilometers away from the base caravan. Oh my god, we're actually going to make intercept. This is kind of cool. So let's get our docking computer ready just in case we want that. Okay, so we're making our approach now 160 meters from Space Caravan. And it's going to want a little nudging burn here in 10 seconds to push us towards it. Coming in nice and slow. Can't even see it from the inside, so I don't know why I'm looking in here. But we're making our approach to Space Caravan. Next retrograde burn here. Just to bring us down is a little boop on the uh, thrusters. Okay, so control from here. Target is not a docking port. Uh, 
we have ourselves set. So, uh, we're at 100 meters. We're going to, once we hit our marker here, that is fixed. So, autopilot enabled. And we're going to let ourselves make an approach. I want it to do the computer the first time just so it can actually achieve it. Um, it's not quite as rewarding as me doing it myself, but we'd be here for three hours whilst I fannied around conducting all these same manoeuvres. Poorly. And very poorly would be the answer, in fact. I'm not good enough at this yet. But I have built a functional space station. And the boffins down at the Kerbal Space Centre at Kerbex headquarters have managed to create it, get it up here. And... Our first three crew members, Valentina, Bill, and Bob, are about to be the first three inhabitants in space. Which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited. Turn the hood off and look at the beauty of space. And we have the sun behind us, so that's absolutely perfect. What are we burning here? But what's our fuel status looking like? Oh, we've got tons of monopropellant. We are more than good. We're good. 63 meters out. Let's have there for you here. We can just about see the station through their by point. Yeah, there comes Space Caravan. 44 meters out. This is kind of exciting, not gonna lie. It's a terrible space station, but it's my first space station, so I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. I don't think we'll be returning from orbit this video, but the crew will be occupying the station for a few days and uh, doing some science. I also brought up some Xeon aboard the uh, service bay to transfer across to allow us to actually, you know, power the thrusters on the station. Need lights. I don't have lights. I should put lights on it. And we have docking. Nice. That is so cool. We are docked. We have actually reached the space station, so, uh, transfer crew, damn it, transfer crew. So Valentina is now inside the first stage of our station. And we'll go transfer crew. And where is she now? Yeah, we're inside the space caravan. We have arrived in our space station. <gasps> that is so cool. We have a space station and we're in it. Uh, lights on. The station is operational. Let's move ourselves around to the light side of the planet so we can actually see what the hell's going on here. Our orbit is still good, but we want to be in the sunlight. There's a debris from the space caravan's ascent, also still in orbit, by virtue of where they are. Here we are, in beautiful sunlight. Oh god! There we go. Hell yeah, look at that. That is pretty. That is so pretty. That's a thumbnail right there. Ah... <sighs> I'm so proud of myself. I know I used automated systems, but this is exciting. Uh, transfer crew. Bill is going to go to the science module and transfer crew. Bob is also going to the, well, to the hab module. So we have the crew up here at the space caravan and they're going to stay at the space caravan and watch some reruns of the old TV shows whilst the uh, the rain patters down outside, if there was such thing as space rain. Um, and at a later date, we'll return from the station to Kerbin. 
and we'll use another one of MechGem's functions to bring ourselves right back to the uh, Space Center, since we're on a linear orbit. So, thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'm actually really excited I managed to work out how to do these things, because even using MechGem is not a simple process of, say, hey, fly to Space Station. I had to put a Space Station up there that was working. I had to then build a craft to go to the station, um, and capable of returning with power and the correct systems, and... These are the sort of computer systems they're using on spacecraft now. Crew Dragon 2 will dock with the ISS automatically. So, if anything, this is the same sort of systems that the uh, the SpaceX's Crew Dragon will use. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. So, happy spaces from the Kerbals here at uh, the Space Caravan, and we'll see you then. Bye!